Hi everyone, Rick Bray with Broomtag Abosis here to talk with you about course analytics. Uh, at the time of this filming, we're dealing with the COVID-19 closings. And one of the, the things that we've uh, heard a need is the ability to see which of our students are able to access courses in this digital learning environment that we're now in. And course analytics within Schoology can really offer a glimpse into that. How do I get there? Well, within a course in Schoology, on the left-hand side, you'll see an option for analytics. Now, this is the new analytics that's being rolled out, but I can see a list of my students. I can see the last time they accessed Schoology and the last time they accessed a course material. So I can see in the case of Barb, Barb hasn't accessed this course yet. So I'm gonna to have to have a conversation with her uh, and see what's going on. But this also might indicate to me that a student doesn't have access at home or I might need to reach out to them and see what's happening and reestablish that connection with my student. So the first thing I wanna point out here is actions. Uh, under actions, you can go to historical data. That's the old way of showing course analytics that's not really being updated anymore. So I would recommend staying away from that. But here's where we can really get into some magic. Uh, if I click on a student's name, it's going to break down their access points based on the type of material. So again, I can see the last time this student accessed the course was March 10th at 1130. Uh, and I can look at all the assignments and see what their status is. I can change that to test and quizzes. And again, see what's going on. Look at, pardon me, look at discussions and look at assessments. And it really helps give me that granular look to see how the students are doing and if they're accessing materials. So again, this feature is accessible by going to a course in Schoology and clicking the analytics tab on the left-hand side. And then from this window, clicking a student's name to see where they're at. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email at rbray at btboses.org. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. As always, thank you for watching.